Hey guys, so welcome to this next video in our SQL Server tutorial playlist or TSQL tutorial playlist depending on how you refer to it. But um, today's in today's video we're going to be looking at the drop database statement in SQL Server. And as the name suggests, the drop database statement is basically used to drop an existing SQL database. It's basically how you delete a database in SQL Server. So for people who wanted to know how, how to delete a database in SQL Server, this is a command for you. And looking at the syntax, it's just drop database and then you specify the database name. Very simple, very easy. Um, but one thing to remember is you have to be careful before dropping a database because it results in a complete loss of information of all information stored in the database. So let's just dive into the demo. Um, I've got my SQL Server running. If you want information about the the tool that I'm using because I'm on a Mac and for those on Windows you can check out the description. I've got setup guides and installation guides for all the stuff you need. Um, and if you're on Windows don't worry it's the same syntax and logic. You can follow along just as well. So let's begin by creating a new database. Create a database test db run and when we refresh our database we should see test db available there and after that we can maybe switch over to that db that means we're now in master so we want to move over to the new database we had created and when we run this you can notice that we've moved over to the data test db database now we're going to insert insert some sample data into test db so I've got some a pre-made table called students which and I'm going to insert some data into it inside of the newly created test db so you can see we've inserted that data let's see what it looks like so again very basic table but now comes the interesting part so we have a database with the data inside of it and we want to delete that database so you use the command drop database and then you do database name like it like the syntax said which is test db in this case remember the match case and now when we run this we get an error we cannot drop the database because it is currently in use so depending on which version of sql server you are running you might get this issue and how you can then work around it is to go back to your master database so you're no longer using test db so you can we can go back to master everybody has a master database so you, you can use that command without fear so you just click use master and then you run the drop database test db again and this time it should work so when we run this commands completed successfully and if we refresh database that should disappear so we can see test dbs disappeared so now we know how to delete a database in sql server using the drop database statement thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe comment share and hit the bell icon i'll see you in the next one